بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله ربي اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي Hello brothers, sisters, how are you? Uh, in today's lesson I would like to show you how we can uh, convert our 3D model to uh, uh, 3D, uh, PDF 3D As you see here I have this model and I change it to uh, 3D PDF as you see uh, there are many things we can we can do it we can go to the we can change the everything it's just like uh, any 3d viewer program okay so and it's uh, PDF uh, here is the uh, the model how we uh, you can change it or what's the and the things that we want to change uh, so in this lesson now I, I want to show you uh, this one uh, first of all, it's pretty easy, guys, to 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 make anything. As you, we can make everything, uh, just like solid outline, the presentation. It's the presentation. We can make uh, with wireframe, solid wireframe. You see, everything. Anyhow, so let's get started. And first of all, uh, uh, here we have uh, this model. Uh, and it's uh, totally uh, advanced steel model right click it's advanced steel model okay so everything is, is uh, okay so what's the, uh, the the way the first of all we have to we have to use this one or uh, if we if we go to uh, or if we select this one go to uh, file save as this uh, save first save as uh, the formats you see we cannot uh, find out uh, this PDF 3 okay no problem again let's try to uh, go to export the formats we cannot uh, find uh, PDF 3 we have uh, this one 3d but it's uh, just like AutoCAD okay so there's no uh, PDF uh, uh, 3d there, there's there's a way uh, with the great tech uh, powerback uh, plugin but it's for uh, for many. Uh, but I want I want to show you another another way, another cool way. Okay, uh, maybe you are the for the first time that uh, watching uh, this one on the net. So please share and like this video and subscribe to the channel. Okay, the first of all, we have to we have to change every every single every single. Uh, every single uh, advanced steel elements to a uh, 3d solid so for for this we have we don't have bolts uh, uh, for, uh, for uh, functionally we don't have bolts just we have uh, beams or pipes or profiles whatever you uh, you name it and plates so I want to uh, choose uh, one plate and one uh, profile and wrap that right click uh, select similar okay so by by this uh, I select everything Again, I want to uh, because I have uh, anchor bolt. I want to uh, select anchor bolts also. So right click, add, uh, select similar. So I uh, select everything, everything. Okay. Uh, right click, uh, explode to uh, advanced steel solid. Okay. So now I exported everything. But before you export, be uh, be sure that you have another. Uh, copy for this uh, for your file, okay? Because uh, there's no longer take uh, the advanced steel properties. If uh, right click, there's no advanced steel, uh, and it uh, now it acts as a 3D solid, okay? What about these two? We can because this is great. We can uh, we cannot uh, change this one, okay? That's very cool. After that, what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do, I have, go, uh, I have to, or I will select everything. Advanced steel here, click on this icon, uh, export to the other formats, and here choose STL file. Choose STL file, okay? Just this one, not the other rest, this one. STL file. After that, on desktop, okay, it's very good, so just save it. Now I have everything exported. Everything now exported. Okay, as is here, everything is exported. Uh, for the next step, I'll go to Photoshop. I'll open Photoshop. Okay, 
just let me open Photoshop here as you see we have uh, uh, this Photoshop file I'm sorry I'm sorry for that okay this is the Photoshop uh, I have to wait a little bit let's say you know, we uh, want to uh, make new file I want to choose uh, from print uh, A4 uh, landscape create okay so I have this one I have the two files I want I can I can remove one no problem anyhow okay for this one what I'm going to do I will I will, I will bring this 3d module into Photoshop okay so go to 3d new layer from uh, new 3d layer from a file and uh, here uh, this is my file as you see the 3d unit uh, I can make it with inch we I can make it with meters whatever uh, we want let's say with millimeters and this is the as you hear the, the coordinates just click op ok and click ok again and I will wait till it uh, uh, bring everything ok and what I can do I can do everything let's say uh, just click right click and export uh, uh, export uh, 3d layer as you see, the for, uh, I want to uh, 3D file format to 3D PDF. We have many things we have to change, or we can ch uh, change uh, this one to that. Okay, we can change our file to these uh, these uh, 3D types. So let's say 3D PDF and texture uh, format is a JPG. Click OK uh, on the desktop. Let's say. Let's name it as AA. Okay. Uh, let's say save PDF. I don't want to ch change this one. We uh, we can uh, put some security on it, but uh, I don't want. Anyhow, let's open this file now. Uh, as you see, we have uh, click here options and trust this document always. As you see here now, we have this three model. Okay, so this is a 3D model, uh, and we export it. Let's see. There are many things. Whatever you want, show cross sections. So section properties. You see, we uh, we can make uh, arrange tilting and th things like this. This camera uh, just like this, and how. From here, the background, let's say white or whatever color we want. Okay. If you zoom in here, we can do everything. As here, if we have some views, we can uh, be, uh, we can go to home. Uh, which is the first one we have uh, anchor balls we have everything and we can change this one to the views uh, we can shade it like this it's just a 3d a 3d uh, PDF okay uh, so what's the benefit of the 3d PDF uh, as we know uh, not every client are engineers it's absolutely it's, uh, it's 100 percent this is right and not uh, all of them uh, they are using uh, 3d programs like AutoCAD like uh, things like this but PDF everyone every everyone has a PDF file on uh, or PDF, uh, PDF reader on his uh, even on his mobile so uh, you can just send uh, them to other free of course you can you can put your your uh, company name here or your name here how you can do it it's pretty easy, right? How we can do it? Just think for uh, some seconds. I'll tell. I'll. Uh, I'll give you the answer. Don't worry. Do you got it or not? 
Okay, so we can do it by extruding inside the, the, uh, the, the module. Uh, for example, if we, uh, sorry for that, uh, let me go to uh, world. For example, you want to uh, write your na name here, whatever you want. Let's say, uh, take a text for that. Uh, let's say test, uh, I'm sorry. We have to first, we have to uh, bring a text or what kind of, of uh, things you have. It's not, not uh, let's say test. Just this test here, we have to change the uh, the font, of course. Control H, so I can change the the, the font. We can do many things, uh, but the first uh, what I have to do, I have to ch change this one to the ex exploded, uh, or uh, by this one I'm going to express tool. If you don't have express tool, you can just uh, uh, right here in the command, uh, just go to express. And it will give you uh, it will uh, show up here express so, so uh, select this one and can uh, modify text explode text but first of all we have to have this uh, this text uh, should have a thickness so it it, it uh, divides into two parts outer outer uh, part and inner part okay uh, be sure for this and see here uh, there's only one me make another text and I'll show you what I mean let me make another text okay uh, T for text let's say test okay just change this one I'll change it to something uh, has uh, like a thickness like this one okay so uh, R O I want to rotate it by 90 degree you can specify the uh, width and things like this no problem just select it go to modify text explode text and now we should have yeah as you see now is two parts okay I'll bring it up Yeah, I have to I have to uh, make it smaller. So as see, let's say point O. Point point O six and anything, just to uh, be just uh, like this. Okay. After that, what I have to do, I have to uh, extrude this one to something. Uh, of course, we I, we cannot uh, extrude this. So first of all, uh, I will make for only for, uh, for this one, and uh, the rest you have to uh, change. Okay, or you have to modify it. You just go to X uh, for exporting this one, and to yeah, just like this. So it should be uh, only uh, one line, one polyline line, and after that join for joining this one. Uh, if it's not joined maybe a uh, boundary we're using boundary for that for polyline inside yeah so we have okay if we, you have this with this boundary so extrude by something uh, something I don't know I just click it no problem I don't know how much yeah I just like this but it's, it's, it's too too much so I'll decrease it for something like this. Okay, something like this. And after that, now uh, what we want to do, we want to just select everything and again uh, save as or export, uh, export it. 
to an SL file again the same thing save it yes bring it in Photoshop again let's make a new file I think it's better right maybe you are with me anyhow uh, a4 just click it like this and uh, 3d uh, new layer from 3d uh, this one I want to bring it as is here uh, the Z and uh, things like this okay you, ha you, can, you can't put it or you can change it later no problem okay by the way you can you can change it here you can change uh, many things here but because uh, uh, you see If you have a geek computer, you can change it, you can zoom in, whatever you want. You can center your model if you want. Oh, to the camera, maybe. now is okay we have some basic lights uh, it's 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 totally Photoshop uh, you, can, you can change uh, whatever you want because I think uh, I have some some problem with my uh, graphic card that's why it's like this uh, so right click and uh, convert uh, export 3 layer to uh, PDF 3d PDF just click OK whatever maybe let's name it as test save save PDF embedded page we can save it now I think everything is good let's go to test uh, sorry just click here, trust this document always. We have to wait a little bit. You see this S that we made. So by this way we can put our uh, uh, our uh, company logo okay so we we can uh, be sure that nobody uh, take this this one from ourselves okay so this is for today uh, thank you uh, guys don't forget as you see here we can rotate we can spine you see whatever we want here we can walk we can fly we can go to camera properties there are, there are many things you see we can change from this one from camera and target we can uh, do whatever we want depth of field roll if you want to uh, make it like this so this uh, for today guys don't forget to like this video and share this video and subscribe to my channel thank you very much